tell me about how you got involved with the movie and what the audition process was like. Uh, it was long. Did a lot of uh, auditions for this. I first came in and just read with Phil, the director, and um, usually auditions are 10, 15 minutes. This was maybe an hour long, and we just we did it so many times, and I think at the end I was just really emotionally drained, and I thought, um, and then he kind of just like brushed me off and just said one word, like, okay, great, and I thought, okay, I'm never coming back here. Um, but then I got more calls, and I then I ended up coming five more times and reading with Brenton more and more, and it became I, really helpful because it was kind of like our rehearsal. You had the call from your agent saying, hey man, here's a script, um, read it. I read it, it was a cool story, so I read the book. Um, and then I auditioned with Philip Noyce. And, you know, usually auditions are, you know, you get maybe t one or two chances to, you know, give your all to the character and really try and jump out there. Um, but Philip would keep working with us in these auditions and it was it was like an exploration that you don't usually get in an audition room mm -hmm. um, and became two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight auditions and you know in that time we yeah like you said we really like began the working relationship. Right. Um, there's so many young adult dystopian stories, movies, books out there now. How do you think The Giver is different? Um, it's really deep. I think it's very thought-provoking and um, it's not so much, it doesn't focus so much on action or violence. It's really just about these deep inner thoughts that a lot of us have and, and Lois brings them up through this book and I think we do the same through our movie. Right. Yeah, I would say that, um, you know, the key weapon in this film is knowledge and that's one of the themes that we're trying to represent in the movie. In the book, it's so clear and so beautifully written. In the film, it's hard to, you know, arm your hero with, you know, knowledge and experiences as your M16, you know. Um, and that's one of the reasons that attracted me to the project. It was, you know, a morally just a really cool story to tell um, and a chance to inspire people. Um, and I think that will stand out that will make it stand out from others. Right. Uh, what are you guys working on next? Um, I just my, um, my Hebrew <laughs> accent. Uh, I got my mind down. So, uh, darling, <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I love British. <laughs> um, British, pretty yeah, good. Yeah, thanks. No <laughs> thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> thanks. Um, anyway, I just wrapped Goosebumps like two weeks ago, and so that's going to come out next year and um, some things I'm in the mix for, but nothing set yet. Hit the audition room and just keep auditioning. Maybe something else cool will pop up.